everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how you know if you're actually activating and releasing your pelvic floor properly. When it comes to pelvic floor exercises, there are three phases. There is the squeeze, there is the lift, and then there is the release. When we chat to a lot of women, especially if you haven't had a child, they're actually just not sure if they are activating their pelvic floor, whether they should be doing pelvic floor exercises, and if they're doing them right. So in this video, I'm gonna go through how to build awareness into your pelvic floor and go through a couple of really common cues that you might come across that really set a great analogy to help you know if you're activating your pelvic floor properly as well as releasing it. So first of all, remember that your pelvic floor is very much connected to your breath and connected to your diaphragm. So using your breath to help engage and release the pelvic floor is the most important thing. So generally when we take a really good inhale in, we want to think about sending our pelvic floor long and releasing it. And then as we breathe out, that's when we can get the squeeze and lift that we're looking for. But there are a couple of analogies that I really like when it comes to engaging your pelvic floor that can help you visualize exactly what you should be experiencing. A lot of people have heard the age old, just imagine like you're stopping yourself from having a pee. And that might be great to stop the, to help initiate the squeeze, but it might not be great to help with the lift. You might also find that you're activating more through the front of your pelvic floor than necessarily trying to activate all the muscles. So let's go through a few of these together. There's one that I really love. It's quite visual. It's about inserting a wet sponge up inside your vaginal cavity. Thinking about squeezing that sponge and drawing the water even, even further up inside you helps to generate that squeeze and that lift. The other one that's a great visualizing technique is imagine that you're trying to hold and suck a blueberry up inside. So we squeeze that blueberry and then we lift. And then the third one is imagine that you're just trying to hold in a fart. So that one's a bit of a fun one, but that one can also be great, especially if you need to work on the back part of your pelvic floor. So as I said, use your breath to help you. Take a full breath in, send your pelvic floor long, and then picture whatever it is, whether it's the sponge, the tampon, the fart, the blueberry, the diamond, squeeze it and then lift, trying to draw it up and inside you. Thinking about your pelvic floor like layers, at rest, it should be at sort of ground zero. And then as you start to lift and draw and you gauge even more of your abdominal, ex uh, abdominal muscles, you'll find that you're able to send that pelvic floor higher and higher. And as I said, the very third thing that you need to be doing to be making sure you're using your pelvic floor well is actually releasing it. It is really important that by doing your pelvic floor exercises, you're not developing tightness. And sometimes just by being highly stressed or holding tension in certain ways, sometimes some of us actually get around with too much pelvic floor tension at the best of times. So to help release the pelvic floor, again, think about where your pelvic floor is currently sitting. And then think about as you breathe in, sending that air down and really filling your lower part of your abdominals with that space and air, allowing it to drop. A great visualizing technique that I like to use is sending a pebble down and into a pond. It hits the water and then it ripples out. And that rippling out effect is that release that you get through your pelvic floor where we're trying to decrease the tension that it's actually holding. If you are pregnant and you're in your third trimester, it is really important that you probably spend more time focusing in on the release of your pelvic floor. Your pelvic floor needs to stretch tremendously to have that baby out through your vagina. So it is really important that you're able to draw awareness to your pelvic floor to get the release that you need so that you're not tight through those muscles. Those muscles need to spread, they need to stretch to allow the baby to come through. 
So spending more time really breathing and meditating. And even when you are on the toilet and you're having a bowel motion, thinking about how you're using your breath to try and lengthen your pelvic floor without pushing or overly bearing down. So there are a few tips that I've got for you to help bring awareness to your pelvic floor, to know if you're activating it, and to also know if you are able to release it as well. Let me know if you've got any questions, but I can't stress enough. If you're concerned about your pelvic floor, make sure you head down and you see a pelvic floor specialist. They can do an internal exam to be making sure that your pelvic floor is operating and moving well, that you're able to get a really good contraction, but also that you're able to release it as well. We've got lots of people that we can recommend, so do reach out if you've got any questions, and I can't wait to speak to you next time. Bye.